excuse my crazy hair. It's hair washing day and it's a little wet. It's just been washed. I finished the day off strong yesterday. I slept okay last night. More my normal way of sleeping. I haven't woken up hungry, which is great. And I always eat before I leave to go babysit my friend's baby because I don't have the opportunity really to eat until she goes to sleep, which is usually 12.30 to 1. It's currently nearly 7. So I always make sure I eat first to start the day. Otherwise I end up ravenously hungry that can be a trigger for me to eat food that is going to negatively affect my body and so that's just the way that I choose to do things but I'm looking forward to starting another day of 80 20 aiming for around 2500 in calories give or take 100 I hope that your Wednesday goes well and I'm super excited because tomorrow is December 1st Hello Christmas! Super excited for that. I will keep you updated throughout the day. Thanks for joining me. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also jump over onto my Instagram, thatcarnivorelife.gram, and follow me there. It's a super fun way just to see what I'm doing day by day. Unlike beef broth, this um, pork roast broth doesn't really have much flavor. It's heated, and I have added some raw, unflavored LMNT electrolytes to it. I have a discount code for that that I will link in the episode description below so that you can get a discount. It is just the salts, just the electrolytes, sodium, magnesium, potassium. It doesn't have any fillers. The raw unflavored doesn't have any stevia, artificial sweeteners, sweeteners of any kind or sugar. It's the perfect electrolyte packet, so easy to use if you don't want all the fillers and the nasties. It brought so much flavor, so much flavor to this broth. It's fantastic. Hi, everyone everyone. It's currently 11 and as poop is one of the biggest questions in the carnival world, I thought I'd answer it. Today's day three and I went poop ridiculously easy this morning. More easy than what I would have liked. It was rather liquid. That for me is expected because I upped my fat content. I've only been once so I'll keep you updated with how my eating and other carnivore habits go over the next day and over the next 30 days. Hi, I am home. It's currently 4.50. I am not hungry. I'm about to step into an hour long Zoom meeting and then I have another meeting immediately after that outside of the house. So I'm gonna quickly get changed and get ready for that. I am not feeling hungry at all. I have a carnivore bar that I can grab on my way out the door after this meeting that will be all I'll need and that will keep me at the 80 20. Hey everyone, it's Emily, obviously. I just wanted to take a break from this episode to talk to you about a really exciting deal and something super amazing in the carnivore world. You will only ever see me talk about something that I truly believe in, and you'll only ever hear of me recommending something to you that I use myself. If I don't use it, I am not going to recommend it to you. If I don't believe leave in it, I am not going to recommend it to you. And so today I want to talk to you about something super cool. I have a discount code for you all for, for you to get 10% off your purchase, any purchase. And that is the incredible Carnivore Bars. Don't you just love their gorgeous packaging? Isn't just it beautifully aesthetically pleasing. Now I will warn you before I open this box and show you what's inside, I have already consumed some. I was <laughs> that desperate to eat them before I did this, that I did. So this is what you get. Ta-da! So this is what they look like. Same as the box, super cool packaging. And can I just tell you these ingredients? Grass finished beef and tallow. Don't believe me? There it is right here grass finished beef tallow that is it you can get salted versions that also contain salt in the ingredients that is it they are clean as a whistle it is a super nutrient dense protein bar super easy to transport you can eat them room temperature fridge temperature or in the freezer during summer i have been eating them from the freezer but now it's um cooler weather i've actually been enjoying the room temperature uh, whereas in the summer i couldn't stand to eat them at room temperature they had to be frozen so i've already opened one this is what it looks like let me take a bite for you all Mm-hmm. Mm. 
So as you could see, mine was frozen. It was quite a dense crunch into it. And you may have been able to hear the crunch as I chewed on it. They are super creamy, especially when they're room temperature. So you can see the tallow here, super creamy. And then you can see the beef. It's literally like crunchy. Don't want to trigger anyone. But if you think of like the candy bars where it's like chocolate and then it's got like crunchy stuff inside it, like rice puffs or rice bubbles. That's what this reminds me of. It doesn't have any of the sugars, the artificial sweeteners, the natural sweeteners, like it's got nothing but pure nutrient dense beef and tallow. And for me, that is fantastic. It's super convenient. Yes, I could make something similar myself, but I don't always want to do that. I sometimes need something way more convenient. It's long shelf lasting, like a long shelf life. If you need to have stuff there in case, say, you get snowed in or power goes out or there's a medical emergency and you're not leaving your house for weeks or you have a baby and you just need something quick. You go hiking, kayaking, whatever, traveling. This is going to be an absolute absolute lifesaver for you. To get 10% off, please use the code that carnivore life down below on the screen. Down below, I will include in the episode description, the discount code for 10% off that carnivore life and the link to the carnivore bar website. I just want to say a very big thank you to that carnivore bar for the discount code for all of you. I'm very grateful that they've provided me with that code for you to receive 10% off. I hope you enjoy the carnivore bar and its convenience and its taste and texture as much as I do. Now back to the episode. It will keep me around those 2,500 calories. I did do a second poop today. Not as intense as the first one. I can definitely see that my body is going through those adjustments to the higher fat in take, which is actually very normal for me. I'm not concerned about that at all. Just so I give you that little update, I've been staying hydrated. I had lunch around 1, 1 1.30. I don't remember the exact time. I had a ribeye steak. The ounces were 8.2 or 8.3, I believe. I did not have butter with it, but I did grease the pan. I cooked it on the stovetop with about a tablespoon of butter, poured all the juices over the top and ate it with the steak. There was still juices left on the plate. So I added them to a mug, added some water, heated that up, added a little bit of salt and then drank that. So I got all of the fat. There was absolutely nothing left. No trash for the trash can. That's my update on lunch. I will catch you all at the end of the day. Good evening, everyone. This is my last update for the day. I am at 2,456 calories. So absolutely perfect for where my aim is. I'm at 86% fat and 14% protein. So again, absolutely perfect. Perfect. It is currently 9.15 p.m. I got home at 9. I was a little bit hungry. I was at about 22,000 or 2,100 calories. So I just ate a carnivore bar and that popped me up to right under the 2,500 calories. So I'm feeling great. I've got energy and I'm going to get ready for bed and start again tomorrow. If there's anything specific that you would like me to comment on as I go on this journey, please comment below and I'll include it in future day updates and thank you for joining me for day three hit subscribe so you see when I upload day four bye